New shooter coverage of InterB 2022 is sponsored by Atlas Lensco. Hi, it's Matt here for newshooter.com at InterB 2022. I'm at the Fuji Film booth with Victor. Now, um, you've recently collaborated with Frame.io and C2C yep. to integrate their technology into your cameras so you can upload photos or video material in real time. Tell us about how that works. So we recently announced the ability for our cameras to take a still image or a video um, that's made and saved to the card and immediately using our file transmitter grip um, to beam that file up to the cloud um, in, straight into Frame.io. Essentially, right now, we're connected to my hotspot, which is on my phone. And from here, I can just go ahead and make a couple images. And at this point, it can automatically send the files up to the cloud, or I can hit the playback menu and go ahead and, and send them one at a time. Now, where it gets really exciting is it's not just about getting the file to the cloud, right? It's about getting it to a place where other people can provide feedback and give comments and help along the creative process by being more collaborative. And that's why Frame.io is such a powerful tool and a partner in this whole process, because the minute the file gets to Frame.io, an art direction team, uh, a brand, uh, anyone, any, any stakeholders in that in the creation of that image can now offer more relevant feedback at the time that's uh, at the time the app is being made. And in terms of quality, what type of uh, you know images or video can can you upload? It, I guess it totally depends on your your internet connection speed. Yeah, so it depends on the internet connection speed for sure. But the camera is capable of sending RAW, JPEGs, TIFF, HEIF files. Um, I can send. Um, our ProRes internal 422, 4K, you know, 10-bit, 6.2K, uh, you know, 10-bit files. And it just depends on, on how fast the internet connection is. Now, for video, even though you could send a, you know, full res, full size file, we'd recommend doing a proxy workflow. And this has got a really neat feature, too. So if I've got a transfer happening, I can shut the camera off. And then it, could, it will continue the transfer, finish the transfer, and then, and then turn off. You told me too. There's, there's still currently a couple of sort of limitations with using the video workflow in terms of if you're shooting log and you're sending an image, and that image is only going to go as log. So you're hoping in the future that you could have some type of system where you could it would automatically apply a LUT at the other end of the of the chain. Yeah, you know, I think there's always um, a lot of great conversations happening between us and Frame.io, and I can't speak for them, but I, I do know that they're really interested in helping us make our customer lives and all of our users' lives really e like a lot easier, right? And so some of the things that we're discussing with them on, this, on the photography side, I think are helping um, us all look at just workflow in general and seeing how it could be possible to help um, independent creatives, especially independent creatives, just get uh, a usable file at the end of that workflow for clients to see and everything like that, you know? So in terms of video workflow, how does this all work? It actually works the same as our still workflow. You make the image on the camera, and then you can either choose to upload each image um, automatically, or you can go to the back of the camera and send the files up as, as you want. So in this case here, we've got a project that, that we've been um, sending video files to, and in, I'm gonna go ahead and just go to the back of the camera and select, and then go ahead and priority select it. It's gonna send it to Frame.io. Frame is going to start to get the file. Now, this is an LTE connection. It's probably going to be about a, uh, a couple minutes here and just talk through it. But essentially what we're doing here is giving image makers and filmmakers the ability to get files from the camera to a cloud environment where someone can come in here and scrub through this clip. Maybe I want to scrub to this part. And then I want to say here, because it's Frame.io, go use this part, RT, right? So it marks it, there's a comment in that area, in, in, at that point in the, uh, in the video clip, and now I can go over here, and it's uh, 0342, I'll just go to file 04342, and the comment's there, it's at exactly where I needed it to be, it's right there in the timeline, if you guys look right there, that's where the, in the, in the video clip that that comment was. So imagine getting all these clips as production's happening. You can actually have your, your, your brand or your production team start commenting and start pulling things down and start getting together paper edits. All this stuff can start happening even before you're done with production. And it does this straight from our cameras. So we're really excited about it. I think the, the, the exciting thing is that it's gonna be a great proxy workflow for us. Um, 
and, and, and we're really addressing the needs of, of people using video and people using still in, in different ways with Frame.io, so it's exciting.